Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Anne Esselstyn. And for the last month, we have been loving watermelon. I have learned from Cedric, uh, who is the, this amazing friend of mine in the produce section at Heinen's here in Cleveland. He has enlightened me about these three things you look for in watermelon. The first thing, I don't know if you do this, Molly, but you want to look for um, a yellow area that indicates where the watermelon has been growing on the ground. Um, uh, it didn't get a lot of, I don't know, I'm making this up. Chlorophyll didn't come out. I don't even know. But you want a yellow spot for sure. You so the yellow spot, bigger the better? Uh, just as long as it has it, it means that it actually grew on the ground. And then you also want to look for these things. That are, they call He called them sugar lines. It's sort of a rough, a rough area that sounded like scratches or lines. See what, I mean, he said it kind of looks like it had surgery there, stitches. <laughs> yeah, it, it does. And then um, he says the sugar's coming through there. And they, they kind of break through and make lines. Um, and there's sugar lines other places here, too. Here's some. And then you also want to find a dimple, like right here. See this dimple? It's like a scar. And um, it's, it, that means that the bees tried to get in to that spot because it was such a sweet one. So yellow spot, sugar lines, and a dimple. Or, a, or a, you know, a, I think the dimples are hard to find sometimes. They are, they are, they are. But I now I would avoid them in the past, but now I want them. And you've seen them when you cut in, you can see that spot anyway. So, cutting watermelon sometimes is the hurdle to making it people eat it, obviously. Um, and we found that if we don't cut up a watermelon, our kids just don't eat it. So um, we take, and I don't think it'll take that long. But we just slice up a watermelon and. Um, it gets eaten in, in a hot second. And some of our kids actually have taken the watermelon and she actually cuts it in almost a half and takes it outside like a bowl and eats it with a spoon. It's amazing. She takes her, this is actually cold from the fridge. She keeps a lime in the lime press and she puts the lime all over the watermelon and eats it with a spoon. It's brilliant, I think. So um, we can cut this this way into wedges um, the classic sort of watermelon. <laughs> you want me to? Oh yeah, if you want, if you want to make, put in the bowl and do that. We can do this with wedges like this and put them into something in the refrigerator and have them eaten. But again, these in the fridge, people have to open it up, get it out. So wedges are good, but we think that the best way for our kids to eat watermelon <laughs> is to um, have it pale? In, well, in cubes. But we'll make a couple because those are beautiful. <gasps> Show oh them what Kyle did with the wedges. So our daughter took some of these wedges the other day, and she said, oh, we don't have the proper popsicle sticks. And I was like, well, what are you popsicle sticks for? And she said, look, knock them together. They're frozen. Oh, here. Is that a good shot? Can you guys see that? Frozen solid. Yeah, I'm going to taste the end. And, and, these, and these are um, shish kebab skewers. Crunchy and refreshing. All right, I'm gonna and keep. Sweet. I'm gonna keep cutting mine. So that's a great thing to do with your watermelon pops. I wonder if you put lime on it, if that would work. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna make a few more wedges. People have the, uh, their own t techniques for cutting watermelon, I'm sure, but um, just doing wedges here is actually good if people don't want to get their hands on the food they eat. We have no problem with our hands, but if you like to do just squares or cubes that are really easy to snag and throw in your mouth. This is, around our house, the best way for people to eat watermelon. Um, we have found. And what's, what I love is that- Is this all right? Oh, bingo, bingo. We have found that um, one of our kids <laughs> loves the white part of the watermelon. So she grabs those pieces quite often. Um, but just chopping this. Just like that. So Anytime here. you open the refrigerator at Jane's house, there's always a bowl of cut up watermelon. And I eat so much watermelon, I think my body processes it, processes it all around four in the morning. So I have to get up and go to the bathroom at four in the morning because I've had so I'm filled with watermelon. <laughs> it's just getting squeezing it all out. So well, one kid would love this with the white on it. I don't love that, but we throw them in there because she'll eat them. Um, so this, it, it's kind of fun. To, so we've got uh, different cubes and different uh, wedges. But I'm going to experiment now with you, Mommy, and with uh, Wade and Josh here running our video with 
some different things. I want to uh, see how you guys like lime on it and chili powder. You guys, are you guys game? Try this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, a friend of mine who is in LA, she said, that, oh my God, all this, all the street corners, not street corners, all the, like the food carts and stuff that have cold fruit, they have lime, a little bit of chili powder, and then they put a little salt. I'm not going to do salt, but I'm going to do a little bit of chili powder. Oh, if it'll come. Because chili powder is, has, is kind of pungent or bitter. Well, the chili powder underneath won't get any. All right, Wade, I'm Josh, gonna... Mommy and me. Cheers. Tell me what you guys think. Hmm. This is chili powder? Oh. It mm. doesn't taste chili powdery. I got some chili powder. I mean, it doesn't I taste... I want more lime. But I like that. Tastes good. Did you guys get mm -hmm. enough lime? Oh. Yeah, maybe a little more lime. Oh. Let's have a little more lime. You know what I really want? I and want it to be more, cold. More lime. I want it to be cold. You want more lime? Sure. Oh, that's fun. Mmm. And more chili powder. Let's have oh. a little. Yes, sir. Jeez. No, yeah, just. Load me up with some chili powder. Now it, tastes, it, it tastes like food. Like instead of being this refreshing treat, it has a little bit of a food taste. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just interesting. Anyway, just eat your watermelon, cut it into wedges, freeze those wedges on the kebab. Um, make them into squares, eat them plain, eat them with, with uh, lime, eat them with lime and chili powder. Lemon too, but lime is really good. And lime, I think, yeah. This lemon, acid queen would know. Is lemon good on watermelon? They've never had that. And this is a little hat, a little watermelon hat. Hey, I've, I've got, we have some extra lemon. Top. I have some extra lemon, so let's try some lemon on this one. Okay, let's put some lemon on. Um, see how that goes. I like lime better. But this does, this does the trick. All right. It's all good. It's all good. Thanks, you guys. Wonderful dessert in the summer. Ah, oh, it's mm. the best. Oh, the other cool thing to do is to use the whole watermelon as a bowl and fill it with fruit. And I love to take a, a, a melon baller so all the fruit is in little balls. That's a labor of love. Oh, but it's so beautiful and so good. <laughs> All right. Hey. And it doesn't break. Thank you. Bye.